And this is what we're doing. Uh, we have directed, and GES is working on it, that every child who comes to primary school, first two weeks, assess them. So primary one. Local assessment by the teacher. Mm -hmm. If they are not doing well, provide intervention. But one critical area is junior high school. You know, they prepare them for the BEC. So mm -hmm. a junior high school student comes, and the teachers will tell you, oh, this child cannot read, but he's given nine subjects. That child who is not reading in junior high school should get intervention English class, something below junior high school. It's called targeted instruction. You are teaching them at their level. And once you teach them at their level, they will be able to understand and then move up. So whilst they're doing the regular English class with, with their friend, they're also doing intervention English. Consequently, in two years' time, that kid is reading because he was provided extra support in reading. Beginning this in the upcoming academic year, if you go to any high school and the teachers assess you and you are not doing well, you're also going to do intervention English. Reading books at the junior high school level, so by the time the year ends, you can read. And therefore, you can now understand the management in living course that you are doing in home economics. But until this time, mm -hmm. Ghana has implemented an education system that is not personalized. You sink or swim. We are in the same class, therefore, we have to be taught the same way. And the kid who can't read is sitting in the same class with you, doing government, doing economics, and he's struggling. And the teacher says, I'm here to teach you economics. But we are saying, once you know that that child is not mastering the economics well because of the language barrier, instead of the 10 subjects, drop one. Give him an additional English class. Allow him to improve and catch up. So he can understand the economics and doesn't have to memorize it and do what we call chew, pour, pass, and forget. Right. Wow. But we cannot do all that without, without also looking at education infrastructure. Sometimes you hear people saying, yeah. Nanando Danko Kufuano has focused on the senior high schools, he has neglected the basic schools, and it's so false. Let's look at the junior high school intervention we are doing. This blue building is what? This building is a model junior high school. And I tell oh, that's you, nice. yes, this is the new junior high school coming to a community near you. And we don't talk about this until oh. we start the construction. Doc, I hope there's no politics. Are you no, serious? I, I'm doing... That is, oh, what's this? this is, it's actually being built. Yes, Sunyane, it's there. Go to the rich area, Sunyane, you're going to see this building under construction. It's a JSS. JSS. Go to a, a Jabin in the Asante region. It's there. Go to Chamba in the northern region. It's there. We have them across the country. Okay, so what's it going to do? They are too few to take everybody. The, the point is this. This is a, 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 a changing the junior high school environment. You know, Ghana happens to be one of the few countries in the world where we have three years secondary. But bring back the blue one. Eh? Bring back the blue one. Yes. So this building, when it's completed, yes, this one. Uh -huh. it has biology lab, chemistry lab, physics lab, computer lab, and it has STEM lab. So you've moved the student from a 19th century environment to a 21st century. Look at the typical junior high school building. This high is going so, to look like. Yes. And I it's see. under construction. So I do evidence-based communication. I'm not going to talk about it in the pipeline. When will it, it finish? When will, when, when, January, February students will be moving in. Let's have a look at it again. Please yes. put it on. January next year. Yes. Four months from now. Yes. To be ready. You'll be commissioning. Where? Which one? Uh, we have Jabin one is ready. Uh, the uh, Sunyane will uh, definitely be um, opened uh, for students to go there. And the junior high school student is now going to sit in a science lab. I've done one in Bosomche using the million dollar per constituency. Mm -hmm. When the million dollar per constituency came, I had a dialogue with my DC and I said, how can we do something transformative with this? So we build a science lab and one classroom block. We started a model junior high school Second to none in this country, different by all standards. We've been changed the dress code. Oh, is the dress code not uh, legislated? The no, brown, no, no, brown. no, there's nothing legislated. So, the, oh, the, the uniforms that people wear to JSS brown, yes. and it's not legislated? No, no, no. It is a oh, so government you, policy. To but but American kind? schools are not wearing the, the brown uniform. The Methodist schools, they are not wearing that. They wear uh, their own have a look at that. Are you going to introduce this kind of. I see it on the have, television. Yeah. South African students look so nice. They're British. They don't look so smart. Well, some few students. Oh, this is how they go to school. Yes, million, in million, million time for the men. Yes, million dollar uh, uh, 
uh, per constituency. Yes. This is what we use ours for. Oh, so and, the girls and, are in bow tie? Yes. Oh, can we do this around the country? Of yeah, course. Do it to look nice. And the parents pay for it willingly. Oh, I see. Because they want their children to look nice. Yes. Yes. They want their children. So this is the future of junior high school education. And this is in Busum Tree. Yes. We were oh, ahead. No, this is good. We were this, ahead. this is good. Yeah. And look at the lab. This was built with million dollar per constituency. Wow. So now we are replicating it across the country and, and the government through the Arab Development Bank received funding and the Badia funding is building the Sunyani school um, and a number of places is under. And look at the children, the confidence. Oh, that's amazing. And they are doing music. So, so you are creating a learning environment that is so different and you are going to produce better learning outcomes. At the JSS level? At the level. JSS level. So effectively, then Ghana positions ourselves for a six-year secondary, three years at a junior high school. Quality is the same as those at the senior high school. And therefore, we are lifting up learning outcomes, situating our country to compete just like any other country anywhere in the world that is doing six-year secondary. But if you look at the buildings that we're educating the children in before this building, was done. You can, you can look at that and tell yourself, there's no way the children are going to compete globally. So now the Danko Ekufu Adult Vision is not just for free senior high school. It's about changing TVET at the secondary level. It's about lifting the junior high school up to make it secondary. And then once you have the facilities, then you place yourself in a way that you can even amend the law that says junior high school is part of basic. The photograph but, they just showed reminds me of a question somebody said I should ask you. Schools under trees, we are, are see, they still there? They are still there. But you know how the schools came mm -hmm. under the trees? Mm -hmm. You see, at the Ministry of Education, unfortunate thing is that we don't have education planning units. Mm -hmm. A like, unit like, that, was that under looks tree, at but... education infrastructure mm -hmm. planning. Mm -hmm. So schools spring up, right? Uh, Chebidi will start a school. Mm -hmm. And then they will say... Government should please take over for us because we also, it's a badge of honor to have our own school. Our children cannot walk half a mile. So the district director of education until now, we just go and say approved. So invariably, most of the time, the school did not start under the tree. But they were in a building whose roof can easily be ripped off by a rainstorm. And when the rainstorm does its job, the school is now under the tree. So the school was not under the tree before it was approved. The school comes under the tree after the fire because it was in a building that was run down. And somehow the district director went there and approved it and gave them teachers. Now you can't do that anymore. If you want to have a community school absorbed, it goes through a process. We inspect the building to make, make sure that there's no school close by that can serve the same purpose. In other places, what you see, you go to a community, in junior high schools, you may have one school that has 80 students, 50 students, and they have full complement of teachers. A school with 50 students. by GS. Yes. A school with 50 students have full complement. And within that community, there are about seven junior high schools. I went to Abomosu. Uh, that's where we were yesterday, doing mm -hmm. the uh, STEM roadshow. I was curious about how many junior high schools were there. The district director comes to me and says, we have seven junior high schools. And I said, what is the population? 411. Of the seven? Yes. Put together? Yes. Seven? But they have seven head teachers. Oh, I see. And, and they are not in facilities, 21st century facilities. If you move all those students and put them in a school like this, you move the student from 19th century to 21st century. So, so this is what so this this uh, yeah, so this this, you are changing it into? No, Abomosu, this is an existing school. Oh, it's there. This is a high school. Yeah, this is there. But the point is that if the 411 students were having their junior high school education on this campus. But is this government owned? Yes, of course. It's government owned. But, but it's, not, it's not one of the new schools. It's one it? of the new schools. Oh, and it started already? Oh, yeah. It's a, they have students there. It's a JSS? No, this is a high school. This is an SSS? SSS. Ah, okay. Okay. So, so the point of the matter is that you have this beautiful high school. Mm -hmm. If you don't do intervention for the children from Abomosu, uh -huh they may not be able to go here. So you have to create opportunity to upgrade them so mm -hmm. that transitioning here becomes possible. Yeah. 
So, so the point of the matter is that the president has turned his attention to basic schools. We've gotten funding from the World Bank, for example, to rehabilitate a number of about 100 schools. We are going through rehabilitation. But it is important for us to do some consolidation, to bring some schools together, to make sure that they have all the requisite tools so that they can perform at the 21st century level. So you're going to see a lot of this happening across the country. And we are making a case to the Ghanaian that our schools can become better. Our public schools will be revamped. I visit schools. I go to a school in Kumase as a boy. If you grew up in Kumase, it was a great school by all standards. I went there and I was curious. I went to the classroom and I wanted to teach the kids. I got a marker from the head, went to the classroom. There were only six students enrolled in the school in that class. Six students. Six. The parents are run as in boys have left our public schools. And it repeats in a number of places across the country. So there's need for consolidation all over. And then ensure that the public school is competitive with anybody else. And make a public school a school of choice. The private schools, the teachers there, mm -hmm. are they produced by our system? Of course. Majority, unless you go to a higher level, but even the number of Ghanaian teachers are teaching at GIS and at all these schools. It's produced by the system. But the point of the matter that is that... That means we can produce the same teachers for the, for, for, for the rest of the country, for of the course. public system you are talking about. No, it's the same teachers. The bottom line for me, though, is that our vision to be able to scare us. If I look at the Accra STEM Academy, that is where your vision scares you. The STEM concept. The STEM concept and the infrastructure mm -hmm. that goes with it. So look at this. The, we are building, and when it's finished, this is how it is going to look what like. What is it? This is a public school, starting from KG all the way to high school in East Lagos. KG to SS? SS. Day. Community school, yes, day. And what this, is it? Their hall? Yes. All this interest owned by government? Yes. Why? The taxpayer deserves better. Oh, I see. So, so, so this is like GIS? Of course. From class one to yes. SS3? If not better. So, so it's going the, to be in East Legon. Yes. So it's the, going the, to be the rich people. No. East Legon is not just, it's just not populated by rich people. Everybody is there. It's a very diverse environment. But, but the bottom line is that you look at this facility, you begin to look at the fact that the taxpayer is going to look at himself or herself and say it's worth paying taxes because I don't have to pay for my child to go to private school. He can get quality education from here. I can save but, but the money. Because it's so small, for... the connection to get in will be no, this very is, brutal. No, you'll be surprised. We're going to do what we do in the United States. I know in Ghana, the teachers teaching there will want to have protocols. So I'm not going to say there will be protocol. But I'm saying 90% of the students who are going to enroll in this school will be through raffle. Raffle? Lot, oh, yes. You put your son's name. We're going to use NLA. You, your son name is there, it rolls, it rolls, the name comes out you are in. It will be amazing for the country to see. We won't believe it. No, we you, will say that I will connection. bring you there. We will say that I will, I will make no, you... Ghana will never believe will, it. You see, <laughs> when same, is this going to happen, by the way? This is also slated to open by January, February. You will be shocked. Hey, this is, I want this you, is, this I want is, you this to get the shock of your life. Because this is something. I want Ghanaians to know that change is possible. So whoever said Ghana cannot change and nothing good is happening, this is happening in a time when things are difficult, right? Mm -hmm. So if Nanado Danko Kufuade can say, I want to transform. So why is it that he wants to transform? So because he knows that if he doesn't change the education system, we cannot change the socioeconomic fortunes of Ghana. So he's making the investment. Where we can't get the resources, I'm so grateful to the finance minister. When we cannot get the resources from here, we have MasterCard Foundation coming in to support training of teachers. We have Big Win Philanthropy coming in to support the training of teachers. UNICEF will come in and provide technology. UNESCO will come in. The World Bank will come in. Other resources then come in. So we can do what we thought was impossible with government resources. And that is how the system should be. We are changing the ecosystem. No, we have